Hi, hi. I am Anna, and today I will be your guide in Kiowa Shat, in the biggest city in Sanctuary. Guys, I'm filming this video live on stream, that's why it's gonna be weird, and that's why I am worrying. I'm usually not filming anything on stream, and so... Ah, we are starting, guys! Let's go! Guys, we got the image of Kiavashat and we are going, we are entering our beautiful city. Kiavashat, once again, is the biggest city in the sanctuary and here is our first stop. Guys, you can see on the mini-map, you can see here two icons, actually three icons, but let's talk about those two icons. We can see here little horse. Little horse is available here and well, this is the place where you're gonna be getting your horse. Your character in Diablo 4 at level 15 will be unlocking a horse, will be unlocking uh, the specific quest which you will be completing and you will be getting your horse, your mount. Every character has a mounting animation and every character gonna have a horse, gonna have horse transmogs and your horse will be your best friend and you're gonna like your horse. We were not able to play, to use the horse during the content creator beta because uh, we reached level 15, yeah, we were able to level all the characters till level 25, but unfortunately the quest to unlock the horse, horse quest was not available in the beta and that's why we know that horse will be available on release, but mm, so far we are not able to test it. Okay, besides that, on the minimap, guys, you can see this beautiful NPC, this symbol. Who is this guy? This guy is the alchemist. This is the dude where you can upgrade your potions and will. In Diablo 4, your character gonna have potions and also you can purchase elixirs. In Diablo 4, your character will be having, well, potions, once again, health potions, and your character will have potion charges. So, uh, here, this character we can see has seven charges. Seven times you can press Q, seven times you can restore your health with a potion. Potions has different size, that's what you're doing here with this NPC. You're going there and you are upgrading your potion side with the herbs that you will be collecting in the fields. And uh, the higher is your uh, potion status, the higher is uh, your potion rank right now, the more health it will restore when you are pressing your potion button, Q or whatever button you will assign there. Besides that, this wonderful NPC is selling the elixirs. Elixirs is your consumable item. Every character in Diablo 4 will have in your inventory a special tab with consumable items. And yeah, you're gonna have there your elixirs there. Elixirs can improve your resistances, can help you to get XP, can help you can increase your attack speed. And elixirs are quite handy. Usually they are, the effect of the elixir lasts for half an hour. So yeah, you, you need a bunch of elixirs. Elixirs are nice there. And you can have only one elixir active at the same time. So you can't use a bunch of elixirs, buff your characters with absolutely everything and go. Only one elixir is active at a time. Okay, we're gonna continue our excursion. Let's go! Who will we meet in our beautiful city of Kiavashat? Here, we're going upstairs and we see a bunch of new people. For example, this magnificent symbol on the map, this is the door of this person, this is the shop of Occultist. Occultist is the guy which is representing pretty much the coop in Diablo 4. Occultist can do a bunch of sick things 
For example, a cultist is responsible for, impre for imbuing your items. You, If you want to change the legendary aspect, uh, legendary power on your item, you're going to a cultist and you are, well, changing their legendary power. There also you are using your codex of power and uh, you are changing your items how you want you are also using a cultist when you want to do some mighty things some wonderful things with your seagulls seagulls it's a special end game items that you are using to open nightmare dungeons in the end game and if you want to upgrade your seagulls or if you want to salvage your seagulls you are also going to a cultist he's there for you and also Occultist can enchant your gear, can enchant your items. Uh, occultist, you're going to occultist, you're putting there your item and you can roll one of the stats on your gear. The same system as uh, what Miriam is, Miriam is providing in Diablo 3. You have uh, a pool of a bunch of a bunch of stats and uh, you can choose so uh, one uh, on every roll you can choose one out of three options for your item one option will be the previous stat that you had and two new so you can always switch you can roll a little bit change the stats on your item only one stat you can change on every item and uh, it is quite expensive uh, occultist is taking a lot of a lot of resources from you first roll usually is cheap from the second one it costs a lot of a lot of gold okay here upstairs and here's here is actually the stairs to the shop of this uh, wonderful actually two npcs there guys and to you can suggest already from the look of those NPCs there are you can buy jewelries this is a jewelier place the jewelier shop you can buy the jewelry um, the jewelry there you can buy your rings and amulets there you can also upgrade your gems in Diablo 4 we're gonna be collecting everywhere in the world a lot of a lot of gems and uh, you will be uh, stacking them together free gems of the same category and you uh, you can you can upgrade free gems of the same category to the next level it will give you more buffs the higher level of a gem will give you more buffs you can also there socket your gear you can socket different pieces uh, of your gear and well add gems there also here upstairs here we can see our stash and our wardrobe stash so far has four pages and uh, it is your stash you can put the absolutely everything four stages but uh, four pages like in diablo to resurrected uh in your wardrobe you can save your transmogs you can buy the new transmogs you can access the shop there also and uh, make your character look incredibly incredibly beautiful and we are continuing our, the, our tour and our character is running to the center square to the center to the central square of the city here you can see guys Kyovashad way Point. This is the place. This is your TP. This is the place where you are TP in in the city all the time. Also, cosmetics one hundred percent. Here, guys, you can see our npc with a blue mark on it this is the side quest mark you can go to this npc to the npcs they're all over the map they're everywhere you can go to them and just start a conversation with them and pick up a side quest there just like this
we are going down and here we can see more vendors guys here upstairs you can see and you can probably guess who this is it is a blacksmith and it is an armor vendor you can buy their armor you can buy their uh, weapons and you can also salvage the junk salvage the pieces that you don't need and you can upgrade your gear you can upgrade your air you can upgrade every item in diablo 4 uh, some items have four ranks some items have five ranks and uh, yep, you can upgrade them then you you will increase uh, the stats of your items for upgrading you need gold you need special materials for upgrading different types of items yeah we have rare we have legendary items for upgrading different types of items you will need different materials you will need different uh, special things you need to find a lot of things in the sanctuary so far till level 25 it was easy to find mats for upgrading they were not so difficult uh, to acquire so upgrades were quite easy and by the way forgot to mention here at blacksmith you're upgrading just your armor just your weapons at juvelia you're also upgrading your rings and amulets but system is absolutely the same you are just upgrading your rings and amulets there let's go okay no let's stay and here is also one npc one beautiful npc with a heart this is uh, the healer guys this is the dude who can restore your potion chargers you are just going to him you're just pressing the healer and it will restore all your potion chargers yeah here here it is i hope it is it's how it's called yeah potion chargers because you don't have potions as a bottles in your inventory in anywhere. You are just picking up uh, the... If you don't have seven right now, this character has maximum seven potions. So if you don't have seven, you are... When you're killing monsters, they're dropping potions. You can pick them up and it will full the multi potion chargers till seven. It's not bad. Also, guys, here we can see a bunch of side quests also available. We are accepting also, we are starting the conversation with an NPC and accepting a side quest here. Meet me in the cellar there and prepare yourself. Here, down, with a question mark, sack, back, backpack, whatever, with a question mark, you can see here, this is the Kadala guy, this is the Kadala person, this is the person, uh, this is the NPC who will suggest you to gamble. In the sanctuary, when you're completing some little quests, you are picking up a balls. And uh, with those balls, it's a special currency in Diablo 4, you will go to this NPC and you will uh, gamble there for different pieces of the gear for different weapon types and the and they are what is cool you're not just gambling for whatever weapon you're gambling for a specific weapon time at type x stuff sit no x bow stuff whatever only you want and also different armor pieces all of this is there um uh, for Different for completing different quests. You're getting not so many obels, so it's not that creepy So you don't feel yourself constantly uh, That you have too many obels and that you need to go to this NPC all the time So it is okay at some point you will go there at some point you will spend your obels You can get there some nice gear pieces, but yeah, you don't have to be there all the time Okay, let's go We are in our trip. 
and here we are guys how do you think the previous one was the main square of the city or this one is the main square of the city but anyway here we can see the beautiful main statue let's call it like this this is the statue where you can you're going to the statue and here you can change the difficulty at which you are playing right now you are you are changing the, the world tier the world level if you need it, if you want to increase the difficulty of your game. Here we are, guys, speaking up once again, the side quest, talking with the guards. And here we need to go to the guards and to cheer them. To cheer the new, uh, new guards. New recruits, new recruits, we need to cheer new recruits. On the map, we just picked up the side quest, guys, and on the map we can see the area where we need to go to complete this side quest. The area is blue. No, well, the sign of a side quest is blue, so the area is blue. You can also actually press on this blue circle and it will, and you will see it here in your quest log. If you will open, if you will press J button, you will see all the quests that you accepted right now and you can make them also be visible here in your quest log. New quest, Raising Spirits. A little uh, spoiler for you, if you will go there, if you will be completing this side quest, you will need to use your emotes in Diablo 4. You will be cheering, there is a cheer emote and you will be cheering the recruits there. Okay, we are going up, 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 it's winter, we're going up. And here we can see the door. This is the last place in our excursion, guys. Here you can see the Cathedral of Light. And right now our character reached the door and he reached the story quest. Why do I know that this is a story quest? Because it has the yellow sign. Our character needs to enter the Cathedral of Light and find out what is there. Thank you so much for joining me on this excursion. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope to see you soon in the sanctuary. <laughs> Get it! It's relatively adequate. Hi, hi. I'm up. <laughs> How the cow? I'm supposed to do this with a serious face. <laughs> We're trying to film a YouTube video about Diablo 4 here. And well, we are failing. <laughs> No, this is even more ridiculous. Come on, people will think that I'm weird. I'm anyway weird. And here we are, guys. I hope you enjoyed our excursion. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And hope to see you soon. Oh, the fuck this. Let's again. <clears throat> so... Thank you so much for joining me on this excursion and, and next next on tack I forgot I forgot what I needed to say and here we are thank you so much for joining me on this excursion thank you for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and e again forgot tack again <laughs> <laughs>